Today we will be dealing how we can find out the plastic moment by kinematic method. In this method we are provided with the questions and we can see and this is a frame we are provided and the height is 4 meter the length is 6 meter. First and foremost we have to check whether the given load that is this 80 kN and 40 kN are collapse load or working load. Here the given is the working load. So in order to find the collapse load we have to multiply the given load into a load factor given load into a load factor here the load factor sometimes it will be provided in question here the load factor is given as lambda is equal to 1.75 this value has to be multiplied with 40 that's a 40 into 1.75 70 kilonewton 80 into 1.75 140 kilonewton this will be used for further calculations we are analyzing the frame in three ways. First, we are considering the beam mechanism, then sway mechanism, then combined of beam and sway mechanism are considered. First, we can check how the beam mechanism occurs. In during beam mechanism, we only consider B and C. Since only in B and C, it acts like a beam and the force acted 3 meter that is centroid the figure is not clear it acts as center point so we take that only and we will not consider the a and b the reason is that the force is acting at the junction if it is acting at midpoint that is 2 meter we will consider a b as another b next one beam mechanism this is a how the virtual work done the diagram for virtual work done first we have to find out what is the virtual work done for that i'll write it virtual work done is equal to mp theta here we can see one mp theta then next mp into theta plus theta then mp theta so that will be the virtual work done. So mp theta plus mp into theta plus theta plus mp theta. So total of 4 mp theta. Here we consider only theta. It is because that the force 140 delta is acting at 3 meter that is our equal distance from both end if it is acting on unequal length we have to consider theta 1 theta 1 theta 2 and theta 2 then external work done i will write a short form of ew external work done is equal to the force acting here on this beam we get 140 delta is acting so 140 into delta we have to find out the value for delta. Delta is equal to 3 theta. How this delta is obtained? It is that the distance from the end point where the load is acting. Here the 140 kilonewton is acting at a distance of 3 meter. That is why we taken as 3 meter. If it is 4 meter length then del uh, theta become, delta becomes 3, 3, 4 theta. If it is acting at a distance of 5 meter, then the delta is equal to 5 theta and so on. So, equating virtual work done is equal to external force. Then, virtual work done is equal to external force. We get 140 into delta means 3 into theta. 3 theta is equal to, we get 4 mp theta. We have to find mp, then mp is equal to what we get. 140 into 3 theta divided by 4 theta. Theta theta cancer because I, I think around 105 kilo newton meter. This is then we are over with the beam mechanism. Then we will go for sway mechanism. In sway mechanism we had to force uh, due to a force here around uh, due to a forces of 17 uh, newton there will be sways in the beam. These are analyzed in this. So, we have to take the external work done as well as internal work done. Then, external work done. External work done. Short is EW written as like that. 
is equal to mp theta plus mp theta plus mp theta plus mp theta we get 4 mp theta internal work done is equal to what we get we get as a forces of 70 newton so 70 deflection will be 70 into delta delta is equal to the total length of height of the frame height is given as 4 meter so we get delta is equal to 4 theta then we have to equate this external work done is equal to internal work done we get 4 mp theta is equal to 70 delta so we get this as what mp is equal to 70 into 4 theta divided by 4 theta theta and 4 theta cancel we get this as 70 kilo newton meter and 70 kilo newton meter is the answer and we are over with sway mechanism as well as beam mechanism and we have to go with combined mechanism in combined mechanism we are considering both the sway as well as the beam mechanism but we have to cons uh, take a here it, uh, always the common 90 degree so we will not consider this angle and this angle as not considered we have to take keep that in mind only this and this angles are not considered so we get virtual work done to write we have to first find out as usual what we are doing that procedure virtual work done virtual work done is equal to mp theta plus mp theta plus mp theta then mp theta mp theta and mp theta total vhss are 6 mp theta then virtual internal work done is equal to so i will write in short form internal work done is equal to we have two internal work done due to beam as well as due to two in uh, work done that is uh, due to beam as well as due to frame so we get 70 delta 1 plus 140 delta 2 due to the force acting here and due to the force acting here there will be internal work done so here delta 1 is equal to 4 theta delta 2 is equal to what 3 theta substituting this we get 70 and equating them 70 into 4 theta 4 theta plus 140 into 3 theta is equal to 6 mp theta. And we find the answer for mp. We get this as equating and solving. It's called 700 theta divided by 6 theta. We get this as 116.6 kilo newton meter. And combined mechanism, we can know that combined mechanism is a real mechanism we obtain because the plastic moment capacity is maximum in cases of combined mechanism and this is a real mechanism we are taken. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos and thank you.